Sister Ruhi Tahir, thank you so much for joining the double take. Um, we're not going to let you go that easily. Um, we're going to ask you a set of rapid fire questions, a couple of questions where you only have a few seconds to answer. So whatever comes to mind, are you ready to go, inshallah? I guess so. I'm not particularly okay. good at this, but we'll try it, yeah. <laughs> okay, an easy one. Um, your favorite Qara reciter of the Quran? Uh, there's so many. Um, oh my goodness. Um, the, the last one you had on repeat. Uh, probably Sheikh Mashari, probably more recently, but yeah. Yeah, fair enough. That's an easy one. Um, if you were to have dinner with someone who uh, passed away and he can't be the Prophet, who would it be? Uh, um, Imam Bukhari. Why? I just, I'm just in, in, in awe, just, I, I mean, I know there's so many people from the Salaf that are, uh, you know, have been just so blessed with their, their knowledge and the dedication to the deen. Um, but just see something so phenomenal in, it, it just, mm. it, you know, it's just beyond the, the scope of, of the average person there. And of course the knowledge and, and the embodiment of, of his understanding of the Sunnah and just who he was and just studying his biography. I've always been, you know, fascinated. I would love to sit and be able to talk to him about that. That's cool. What would you have for breakfast if you were to have breakfast with him? Like if you were to put on a, a show and say, this is my favorite breakfast. Well, my favorite breakfast, I, well, I, I love, I love, um, I love almonds. I love eggs. I love fruit. Uh, I don't know. I guess I, I, I like all kinds of food. So hopefully uh, some of that will work. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. Um, what was the last book that you read? Um, other than the Quran, of course. Other than the Quran, um, you know, recently I haven't really been, I've been, I've actually been, uh, I'm starting to go through and I haven't finished it, but I'm researching a paper on, on gratitude. So Imam Ghazali's particular um, chapter on that within his works is sort of what I've been investigating. <laughs> I haven't read it completely yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And one last question. If I was to say embarrassing masjid moment, what comes to mind? embarrassing masjid moment um i can't think of anything recently or any time well, we haven't been in the masjid recently so maybe that's why uh ever <laughs> embarrassing masjid moment um let's see i know i haven't walked off with anybody else's shoes um oh i had somebody literally come and almost like sit on sit on my literally sit on me like in in the crowded it was in the haram it was a few years ago and it no language, I mean, the language barrier was there and all of that. And I was with a family member and somebody just came and just square, like just sat right in my lap. Yeah. Okay. There's no room to pray. And that was really yeah. kind of strange. Yes. <laughs> um, Sister Ruhi Tahir, thank you so much for joining the Double Take. Jazakallah khair. Uh, Jazakallah khair for having me. Thank you. Alhamdulillah.